I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast for the health of it. Remember to subscribe to our podcasts, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. We're answering the, the biggest questions or the top questions we've gotten in the past year. And last week we talked about high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease. Today we talked about obesity. And we're right in the middle of talking about osteoarthritis. Uh, and I want to cover that. Osteoarthritis is mechanical. Bones are out of place rubbing up against each other. Rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune disease, which causes swelling, which pushes the bones out of place, which causes them to rub up against each other, which causes them to wear out. So rheumatoid can lead to osteo. Follow osteo doesn't lead to rheumatoid. So we, we've done shows on arthritis. You can go to website, drjoe.com, and type in whatever you're looking for. So we have uh, every topic we talked about so far in the past two weeks, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, obesity, osteoarthritis. We've done whole shows on it. But I know not everybody listens to every show, so we're trying to give you a little, little, little recap of the year. Every, every, every show does like a recap, so we're doing our recap here. Uh, and you can listen to the whole show on arthritis, osteo, and rheumatoid we covered. If it's osteo, rheumatoid arthritis, I do recommend you listen to our show on autoimmunity because it's an autoimmune disease. Osteoporosis. I get this question a lot. We, those are the main ones. Now we're going into the, uh, the, the B team here. Osteoporosis. Get it all the time. Osteoporosis when the bones become thin. So what's your first thought? Bones are losing calcium. What supplement should I take? Calcium, of course. Calcium's good. However, it's like making a cake. If you don't have all the ingredients, the cake isn't going to work. So even though calcium is most of the bones, you need vitamin D. How many times have we talked about vitamin D? Vitamin D helps you absorb the calcium. You need vitamin K2 because if you absorb the calcium into the blood, K2 directs it to where it's supposed to go into the bones, and it doesn't set up shop or stabilize itself in the joints. Uh, or in the muscles. So you need vitamin D, you need K2. So if you're taking calcium without D and K2, you're wasting your time and your money and it can actually cause damage to the body. You need boron, you need silica. So you need a lot more than just calcium to make the bones work. And if you're just taking calcium, that's not a good idea. Also, there's different types of calcium. If you're taking calcium carbonate, which is the cheap version, and that's what most supplements are made of. If you're taking calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate uh, can block up your receptor sites so you can't absorb the good type of calcium. So calcium carbonate, not a good calcium supplement. But here's the thing. What causes osteoporosis? In most cases, it's too much acid in your diet. You're eating too much alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, what I call the seven deadly sins of nutrition. I don't know of any case, I certainly haven't seen any in my career of 38 years, I've never seen a case where somebody's eating a plant-based diet that ever got osteoporosis ever. Wow. Wait a minute. We just talked earlier about the number one treatment for coronary heart disease and high blood pressure and hardening of the arteries is a plant-based diet. Now we're saying that I've never seen, I've personally never seen a case, it might be out there, I've never seen it, of somebody who eats a plant-based diet that got osteoporosis. So once again, the winner is, ding, 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 plant-based diet. That means fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds is most of your diet. If you don't know what to eat, and some of you are new to the show, so you, this may be a new term to you, go to our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com, type in, so what can I eat? And it has, we did a whole hour lecture on what you can eat, breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks. The first book I ever wrote was called Eating Right for the Health of It. That covers how to change your diet and has over 200 recipes in it. Real simple, easy to make recipes. Uh, no reason why you shouldn't be doing these things. And way, way less expensive than anything you're eating right now. Everybody says, oh, it's so expensive to eat healthy. No, it's not. Beans and rice are cheap. Meat's expensive. Dairy's expensive. And it's not just the cost of the product. It's the cost of your health. It's the cost of how long you live. It's the cost of uh, how much energy you have, how well you can work, how well you act as a boyfriend, girlfriend, mother, father, sister, brother, clergyman, whatever it is. If you're not able to function, that's really expensive. And so I know that a plant-based diet is the best diet. And if there was a better diet out there, I would be doing it. If meatball sandwiches were better than avocados, I'd be eating meatball sandwiches. Okay, so I'm, I'm in it for me. I'm in it, what, what's gonna be, give me my best diet? What's gonna be the longest life? What's gonna make me look younger, feel better, have more energy, stay thin, um, uh, stay social, keep my brain functioning? If there was a better way to do it, folks, I tell you, I'd be doing it and I'd be telling you to do it. So whatever your motivation is, if it's save the animals, it's to save you, if it's save the planet, it's save money, whatever it is, 
plant-based diet fits that mode. So it's perfect. So with osteoporosis, we do want to put some weight-bearing exercise in there, but we just did a show on osteoporosis not long ago. You could listen to it. It turns out that weight-bearing exercises are not as good as we thought they were. The best thing you can do, and it's a whole show we did on osteoporosis, drjoe.com, was a plant-based diet. And if bones are out of place, again, they rub up against each other and wear out as well as pinching nerves. That's where chiropractic fits in. So if you really want to put together a wellness program, okay, you might have health insurance, but it's really not a health plan. It's health insurance. It's silly because they hardly pay for anything anyway, so they don't insure anything except their own pockets. So if you really want to get healthy, you have to have a normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. That's it. That's your plan. Right now, I have cameras in front of me because we live stream these shows, and they're on tripods. So I just had this vision that that's your tripod of health. Your tripod is a normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. If you have those three things, your risk of getting any disease drops dramatically. I'm not going to make you immune. I'm not going to make you Superman. But if you play any odds, your odds drop dramatic. Your odds are in your favor dramatically if you eat a plant based diet. Chiropractic care puts the bones back in place. So if you have neck pain or back pain or shoulder pain or headaches or numbness or tingling, chances are it's somehow related to a bone out of place. may not be the only reason, but it's probably the main reason. And chiropractic is the most effective, least expensive treatment for pain, for back pain. Why wouldn't you start with the most effective, least expensive treatment for anything? That's where I think you should start with your health care. And then if we need to, we have a medical division. We can do PRP. We can do blood work. We can do uh, micronutrient testing. We could actually analyze your body to see specifically what nutrients you're deficient in. Is it antioxidants? Is it B-complex? Is it vitamin D? And we can find out exactly what we need to do. So we can do a micronutrient test on you. So we have the medical division. We have the chiropractic division. We have the nutritional division. And with PRP, there's even an aesthetic division. PRP can be used for hair restoration can be used for wrinkles, can be used for erectile dysfunction, can be used for leaky bladder syndrome with women. So there's so many different things we can do. Go to our website. I don't have time to go over this uh, today. we got a lot more to cover. DrJoe.com. Click on the tab that says uh, services, and we have a list of all our services. Make an appointment. Stop suffering. Biggest complaint I get. You've heard me say this before if you're a regular listener. Say it with me. Why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I wait so long to change my diet, get on supplements, fix my digestive system, fix my acid reflux, my colitis, my, di- my diarrhea, my constipation, my bad breath, my, my terrible gas? Those are all symptoms that something's wrong. And if you just say, ah, I got terrible gas, ha, 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 that's wonderful. You can make a joke out of it, but it's telling you that there's something wrong. It's a symptom just like pain. And I had a patient, like I said earlier, he said, doc, I don't have any pain. I'm here for my wife. When I took his x-rays, he was way worse than his wife even though he didn't have pain. He sat there. He said, I'll do whatever you say, Dr. Joe. I'm in your hands. And his wife was in tears, and it was so exciting because they they got it. They said, okay. And and they drove, actually, from Michigan um, just to see us. Came in, turned around next day. uh, And she said, I can't imagine anything being worth more than coming to see you. This trip was worth everything. And it really was because hopefully we saved their lives, his life anyway. So even though you don't have pain, it's a good idea to get things checked. Just like you get your car checked. Little light comes on your dashboard. What do you do? I got to go get my car checked. You don't drive around with it. You go get it checked. Well, most of you do get it checked. (laughs) Some of you don't. But if you don't get it checked, what happens? It's going to get worse, right? Same thing with your body. So if you have a problem, come see us. I want to talk about hearing loss real quick. I told this story the other day. In fact, uh, just the other day, I was in Davenport, Iowa. Davenport, Iowa is the birthplace of chiropractic. And I'd never been there before. So I went there and it was a a pilgrimage back back to the motherland. And it was really cool because Palmer College is there, which is another chiropractic college. I went to Life University in Marietta. Uh, Palmer, I didn't pick Palmer because my cousin lived in Iowa. And she said, Joey, you don't want to go to Palmer. You don't want to go to Iowa. It's cold and there's nothing to do. And you know what? She was absolutely right. It was cold as heck. Minus 10 degrees with the windshield factor uh, landing on the airplane. So it was cold as heck. Um, and so, but I did go to college. And it was a lot of fun. And I, I took pictures and I said, oh, I'm here. This is where it all started. And all the greats were, you know, the, the great chiropractors and researchers that I've studied with and studied from. Some of them I know personally, some I didn't. It was really cool. They had like monuments to them, Earhart and Palmer and so many other people. Um, it was really cool that I got to be there and say, this is so neat. I'm, I'm where it all started. Uh, but anyway, I say that to say the first chiropractic adjustment, September 18th, 1895, was on Harvey Lillard. Harvey Lillard was a deaf janitor. 
And Dr. Palmer, he, he asked Dr. Uh, Harvey Lillard, um, you know, Harvey, how did you lose your hearing? And he said, well, I lost my hearing. Um, I picked up a box. I felt my neck pop and I went deaf. So Dr. Palmer theorized that if we bent over and felt his neck pop and he went deaf, what if I unpopped his neck? And I laid him on a, a, a bench, I ju- pushed on it, pushed on his neck, and he got his hearing back. So Dr. Palmer thought he had discovered a cure for deafness. It wasn't a cure for deafness. It was, he, it was the first chiropractic adjustment ever. It just so happened that it was a pinched nerve causing Palmer, uh, the, uh, Harvey Lillard's deafness. In my career, I've had three people get their hearing back through chiropractic care. I've had many not get their hearing back. My father being one of them. If you read my book, uh, Prescription for Extreme Health, the first chapter I talk about why I became a chiropractor, why we're here today. And my father fell off a ladder uh, in January. I was born a few months later. He broke his back, fractured his skull, and went deaf immediately. And my mother was pregnant with me. My sister was three years old at the time. My mother had no skills, really. At the time, women just worked and had babies, and that was pretty much it. They were housewives, and the men worked. and So a very traditional family. And so I grew up extremely poor. My father never heard my voice a day in his life. He died never hearing my voice. And it's one of, that's probably one of the things that motivates me so much, looking at my family history and saying, I wish that I had known what I know now. I could have helped them. Now, my father did get chiropractic care. He never got his hearing back. Um, but I think he broke the bones in his ears when he fell backwards and fractured his skull. And we didn't have MRIs at the time, so we don't know what really caused it. So anyway, uh, so with hearing loss, it could be chemical. Sometimes drugs will do it. I know aspirin can cause ringing in the ears. Uh, sometimes medication, sometimes inflammation. Uh, sometimes it's pinched nerves, like with Harvey Lillard's condition. Uh, so we, we always try to get to the cause of whatever the problem is. Now, with hearing loss, again, I can't promise anything. We get way better results with other conditions than hearing loss. But you know what? It's worth a shot. That's always my thought. Is this worth a shot? Absolutely. And so that's the approach I like to take with it. Uh, we have a lot of patients come in with uh, uh, vision problems, and I want to cover this. I wear glasses, of course. Um, well, if you're on the radio, you don't know that. But I have a condition called macular degeneration. And I was told several years ago that there's nothing you can do for it. It's genetics. You're going to go blind, and good luck with it. Maybe, maybe it'll slow down, and it'll, it won't be that bad, but it's going to get worse. So I put together a supplement protocol for myself, which included super greens and essential source, digestive enzymes, omega-3 fatty acids. And if you go on the website, drjoe.com, Garrett, uh, my producer, uh, was kind enough to take the pictures of my eyes over the years the, the, from the eye doctor and list them on the website in progression of how my macular degeneration is improving. Now, my, my, my uh, uh, eye doctor, she's blown away by this. And she says, nobody gets better from macular degeneration. So I have proof, my eyes, I will swear by it, those are my eyes, uh, how it got better. Can I help you? I don't know. But with vision problems, many times it's due to free radicals. Free radicals are like Pac-Man. They eat through things, waka, 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 waka. And so they eat away things. And free radicals build up. As we get older, you get more free radicals, less antioxidants, which fight free radicals. And so by taking super greens and essential source, I'm taking a mega doses of quality antioxidants. And I'm giving the body the nutrients that it needs. And then nitric oxide increases circulation. Chiropractic care opens up the nerve and blood supply to that area. And you can clearly see my eyes are getting better. Now, I can't promise it's going to help your vision. But my vision, by the way, is getting better too. In fact, the glasses I'm wearing now are outdated. I'm waiting for new ones to come in. I just went to the eye doctor the other day. And uh, my vision is getting substantially better. It's gotten about 50% better over the years. Now, I still wear glasses. I'm still going to need to wear glasses. But uh, pretty cool. The result. So uh, you wouldn't think about something like chiropractic and nutrition for vision. I'm not saying we have a treatment for it, but I am saying these are the results I've seen in my personal life. Bladder problems are a big issue, and, and we talk about PRP a lot for bladder problems. Uh, PRP, platelet-rich plasma, we can take your blood out, spin it down, and take out the platelets, and then re-inject it back into the body. So it works really well for arthritis, knee arthritis, athletes see it, come see us all the time, shoulder issues, uh, tennis elbow, carpal tunnel syndrome, arthritis in the spine. We can do PRP injections into the body. And what it does, uh, initially, it can actually increase the pain. It causes an inflammatory reaction, but it recruits new growth into that area, and then hopefully we get long-term results with it. We also can do PRP uh, for bladder issues. If women have leaky bladder, especially as they're getting older, if they laugh and they pee a little bit, if they've had babies, um, you can take the PRP and inject it right into the bladder area. Don't we use numbing cream? Don't worry. And in most cases, you see some really cool stuff. It rejuvenates the cells. Same thing with erectile dysfunction. You can take PRP injections and put it into the sex organs, and depending how bad uh, the erectile dysfunction is, mild, moderate, or severe, will determine if it's one, two, or three injections. 
And in most cases, we start to revitalize the area. So it's, it's anti-aging uh, on steroids. It's amazing how, how great these things work. And then you add the nutritional component as well. You add uh, super green, essential source. You get off alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas. That to me is worth giving up those products because it really is a total anti-aging protocol. Now, can we reverse aging? No, we can't. But we can slow it down. In most cases, see some great results. You can use PRP for hair restoration. You can inject it into the scalp, and it can stimulate new hair growth in most cases. So with bladder issues, PRP is one treatment. We can also do chiropractic care for bladder issues. The nerves in the low back, if, they, if the bones move out of place and pinch the nerves in the low back, you might have back pain, leg pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain. So what's the most logical thing to do? Put the bones back in place. That's chiropractic. However, those same nerves in the low back control the colon, the sex organs, and the bladder. So in conjunction with PRP, we might do chiropractic care. Open up the nerve supply. And so if you have gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, erectile dysfunction, leaky bladder, uh, sexual dysfunction, uh, menstrual cramps, many times, not always, but many times adjusting the low back can help those organs. And so most people think of chiropractic care as, hey, my back hurts, I get an adjustment, I feel better. Yeah, we're really good at that. But that's only like 10% of what we do. Open up the nerves to the organs. Put the bones back in place so they don't wear out. Add the nutritional uh, supplementation specific for your conditions. Maybe add PRP, which is a medical procedure, to see if that helps. And now we have a wellness center. Most places, yeah, we might do this, might do that, but we're truly a wellness center because we want to get to the cause of your problems and not just treat the symptoms. Even with menstrual cramps, the uterus attaches to the sacrum by something called the broad ligament. And if the sacrum moves out of place, it can pull on a broad ligament, which can pull on a uterus, and that can cause cramps. So by putting the sacrum back in place, many times we physically take the stress off the uterus, and many times that helps with menstrual cramps. Not always, but in most cases. So you're seeing now what we're dealing with is getting the body to function more efficiently. So if the car is out of alignment, you bring it to a mechanic, they'll put it on a computer and they'll say, this needs work and this needs work and this needs work, and then you fix it. And if my transmission fell out of my car right now, what would I do? I'd get it fixed. I need my car. I got to get around. I get radio station. I got to get to the office. I got a, a life that I have to live. I got to go to the grocery store. So I have to have my car. I guess I could use an Uber or a Lyft or a rideshare or something like that, but I like to have independence. I want you to think about that with your body. If something's going wrong with your body, fix it. Because it's only going to get worse. And you know what? You need your body more than you need your car. And you take better care of your car in most cases than you do your body. So if you have a symptom, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headaches, uh, restless leg syndrome, uh, digestive issues, acid reflux, heartburn, arthritis, come see us. Let's see if this is something we can help. If it's not something we can help, we'll tell you. You know what? I don't even think there's a snowball's chance in heck that we're going to be able to fix this. You're not a chiropractic case. Most people are chiropractic cases. The initial visit used to be 375 for us. We've reduced it to 199. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first adjustment. Then the next visit going over your x-rays and the nutritional evaluation, all that is now 199. We can't do that forever, obviously. We're going to have to raise the prices, but we're here to help you through these tough times. And now more than ever, you need to be taking care of your health. I can't imagine any time in history ever that now we should be taking care of your health because now we have the skills. We have the technology. We have the know-how to get the nervous system working, to get the digestive system working, to get the immune system working. In 1918, when there was the Spanish flu outbreak and so many people died with the pandemic, we didn't know how important vitamin D was. Now we do. We didn't know how important the bacteria in your colon are for the immune system. Now we do. We didn't realize that eating a plant-based diet was so much healthier for your body. Now we do. And so the research and the technology has come so far, and yet for some reason, most people are not taking advantage of that. And I don't understand why. I am. Garrett is. My staff is. My patients are. And I want you to be part of that. I want you to understand that there are really easy fixes in most cases. To do these things, you just have to know how. When something breaks on my phone, it was funny, when I got my phone, Garrett said, get the same phone that I have. I said, why? He says, I know how to fix this phone. So if something goes wrong, I can fix it. So I got the exact same phone Garrett has. So whenever I have a question, Garrett goes, boop, 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 and he knows how to fix it. That's how I want you to think about your health care. You may not know what to do about it, but chances are somebody does, and we're a good source for that information. 
So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Uh, you can book it right on Ryan. There's a picture of me on the front. Right next to it says appointments. Just book an appointment. Uh, we, again, first visit is 199 and going over the x-rays. You're probably going to need more treatment after that. If you need more treatment, my staff will come in, discuss your insurance policies. We accept most insurances. Uh, we have cash plans available. We have uh, prepays available. We have every possible way that we can to make care of, uh, affordable and available to you, including four offices. So if you want to get well, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, Go to my website, drjoe.com, make an appointment. There's a phone number there too. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can call us and we'll answer any questions you have. And when you make an appointment, we're going to call you anyway. If you don't hear from us within 48 hours of making an appointment, call us. Maybe something went wrong with the computer. I don't know. But we do want to be your doctors. We want to get you well and keep you well. And on the website, under services, just do the drop down menu, see the different services we have. And that may be something in there we haven't talked about today that we'd love to work with you on. So again, today, what we're talking about is the, the number one questions we get uh, throughout the year. And I want to cover, uh, uh, emotional issues, anxiety, depression, ADD, ADHD, every case I've ever seen. And I've seen tons, believe me, I've been doing this for about 38 years now. Every case I've ever seen is always a digestive issue. That's never been di addressed. Your stomach has one main job, take proteins and break them into something called amino acids or dissolve them. Amino acids then become neurotransmitters in your brain. Tryptophan becomes serotonin. Serotonin helps you focus. Tyrosine becomes dopamine, which gives you pleasure. Glutamine becomes GABA, which suppresses pain. So the brain has to have the chemicals in order to work. So no matter how good your, your diet is and how good your chiropractic care is, you have to be able to absorb your nutrients. So if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, in most cases, the stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm. And my team of doctors are all trained by me to pull the stomach or adjust the stomach down away from the diaphragm. Right before I came on the air, I grabbed Dr. Cat. I said, adjust my stomach. She doesn't ask the question. She pulls my stomach down. The reason is last night I ate too much food. I went out for Ethiopian food. I love Ethiopian food. And I always, I eat too much. And I knew what I was doing and I knew I was going to have problems. So Dr. Cat had to pull my stomach down because the acid can come up into my throat and irritate my throat. So many times chronic cough, uh, tonsillitis sometimes can be misdiagnosed as acid reflux. Acid reflux can be misdiagnosed as tonsillitis. I just had a question today about a two-year-old. He's got horrible gas, acid reflux, and they want to remove his tonsils. I said, let's fix his stomach first. If that doesn't work, we can always go ahead and remove the tonsils. I've never had it not work. And then he also, I said, you got to get him off wheat and dairy products because wheat and dairy causes inflammatory reactions. And I said, get him on vitamin D to build up the immune system. So hopefully they're going to bring him in. It just happened this morning. I don't know. But with depression, anxiety, ADD, ADHD, almost always there's an undiagnosed digestive issue. And we fix it in most cases, not everyone. In most cases, we see dramatic improvement. So what are we doing in a case like that? We're getting to the cause of the problem, not just treating the symptoms. I support 100% that you treat the symptoms. If you have high blood pressure, get on medication. High cholesterol, get on medication. ADD, get on medication. But then let's get you well enough so that we can get you off the medication. Or start with us and hopefully you won't have to get on the medication. But I never tell people to quit their medication. I always tell them, stay on your medication. Let's get you well enough so you don't need the medication. And when you fix somebody's acid reflux, let me tell you, the world changes because I had it for years. And when I was in high school, I'm sure uh, I would have been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD. I was wired. I was hyper. I was the third smartest kid in the school, grammar school, and then graduate school as well. I graduated third in my class at 23 years old from chiropractic school. 23 years old. I was a doctor. How crazy is that? But once I realized that I got my stomach fixed, all that brain power was now focused. And that's why I can give two, three, four hour lectures sometimes without even using notes because my brain works so much better than it used to. So if you have a health issue, folks, stop suffering needlessly. Again, I don't know if I can help you or not. The only way we'll know is to make an appointment, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. You can order the supplements we talked about today as well. Minimum supplements, everybody should be taking what? Super greens, an essential source. I, in the winter, I'd add vitamin D to that as well. And if you want to really get your immune system working, glutathione. Uh, PRP, chiropractic, digestive issues, the supplements, all on the website, drjoe.com. Make an appointment now. The initial visit was $375. We've reduced it to $199. We can't do that forever. We want to be your doctors. So, folks, I hope to see you soon. Drjoe.com. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Tell your friends about the show. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern Time on WSBRadio.com and on a WSB Radio app.